or not the range. What? Tell me what your accuracy is as soon as you see me and you're moving towards me, but I'll be attack moving. You want me to keep moving, just to, to see if it's the same on the move as it is stationary, or what? Keep moving until you're pretty close to me, and then stop and just fight, I guess. in the game. They sit on a big circle like they were in ALB. That's true. Alright, I think I'm gonna start moving. Yeah, go ahead. Gurkhas need a fourth weapon slot. <laughs> a knife. Alright, fifty percent on the move right now. Mine's ninety two stationary. Alright, you could probably stop. Now it's sixty six percent stationary. Sixty six percent right. Mm, mine's sixty two when shaken. Sixty six shake shaken on fifty two percent. So My my uh, base accuracy is actually higher at sixty percent. I'm 43% right now at worried or panic maybe. Yeah, the mo moat shoots at OMG is pretty good. My base accuracy though is supposed to be 50%, and it's it's 43% panic. Like that makes sense to me. Well, you are hardened, I guess. So you were 50% on the move, you're saying, right? Yeah. You should be like maybe 30%. So I'm going to bring up a watch regiment and let's do the same test. What's the suppression on your machine gun? It is 40. What caliber is the round? 5.45. What about the Fox Regiment? They have 55 suppression with a 7.62 millimeter round. Their accuracy, they only have 40% accuracy compared to the Moat Shoots and having 60, which I think is a big deal. Start moving. Not attack moving, right? Yeah, just do what you did before, because we're gonna do the same test with the watch regiment to see the difference in performance, if any. Fifty percent on the move. You can probably stop. Eighty-four percent stationary. At, uh. Hardened, and I was only worried. Interesting, I have more suppression on these guys, but my guys became shaken before yours did. So I was talking about watch regiment just they take forever to kill. You'd expect like a scorpion to uh, they buzz saw down something real uh, I don't know. <laughs> right there is basically the only reason you beat me is because you had five men. I mean, they basically did the same as the Machutes, and the Machutes and our 
at 30% life, the watch regimen are at 33% life. Alright, I'm going to test the Uragons while we wait. So I'm going to fire just one at you. I... Minimum range is 8... No, oh, it's 7,000. Right, I'll get a little closer then. Let's try a watch regiment versus Gurkhas without you moving closer, just attack moving. Don't kill my Urigans with your Lynxes, please. They have their guns off. My Tunguska doesn't, however. <laughs> During World War II, the MG42 was called Hitler's Bone Saw. The Tunguska is Honecker's Bone Saw. Alright, I'm attack moving into the forest with my watch regiment. Oh, hello. Oh, you got me that time. Question mark, question mark, question mark. My guys went to panic before yours did. I'm still shaking. Shepherdson. No, I'm panicked. What is the accuracy on your uh, your scorpion? Uh, twenty percent panicked. Same with the Sterling. On the MG. Yeah. Uh, thirty-four percent panicked for my RPK. That's forty-three on the mini me. Yeah, my watch regiment are just getting toasted. The guns sound cool. Yeah. I don't know. Gurkhas are cool at all, but it's just, I don't know, it feels like 15 men firing should, I mean, it seems like that should be such a big advantage, and it's it's really not. I'm, I'm, I mean, they're basically performing just as well as the moat shoots in in combat. Like an advantage, it feels like a, like a, a compensation, like they have to have 15 men to do the same. I'm... We've used up half my RPK ammo trying to kill one squad. Okay, there we go. I, I think that was a toss up. Uh, that definitely was. Alright, well, I'm gonna smirch your stuff now. Alright. Well, let me move this back. Let's see, so I'm firing at 9265 range. That's a little bit above minimum range, but I think that's okay. You can get all your stuff in the circle. the warrior. Yep. Hmm. What do you think? Uh was it bad for cluster? My centurion AVRE didn't take any damage. My challenger two is at four bars of health in my my ferret recon is at two health. Like it, it, it's just so random. It's. Can you repair? Like, go repair everything, and I'll fire both at once, and just for giggles a little later. Seems like you have to be blessed by the RNG gods. Well, yeah, like your uh, something, like your chieftain Mark V wasn't hurt at all, and your challenger. It's doing one AP, one damage to everything it hits, so you just, it's a lot of luck. My ferret should have died 
instantly, but it only took two damage, whereas you almost killed my Challenger 2. Well, the Challenger 2 is right in the center as well, so... But if I shot one down there and made all those Chinooks pop, he might die, though. Probably. You have another Gurkha squad? We'll try motor shoots in without you moving, just attack, move into me. Alright. I was gonna ask, did you want to have all your infantry attack, move, and have a huge fight in the <laughs> middle of the forest or whatever? I know I'd lose. a lot more infantry than I do. Yep. 28 Gurkha squads. <laughs> 28. Just brought three watch regiment and three motor shoots in. What was that noise ascended? Why is he shooting like a an RPG at me? See that? They need all the help they can get. It's a graphical bug. Someone was like, oh, our LMG's not firing very fast on the forums. No, it's, it's RPG. <laughs> so, for the record, Mochutes and are kicking the Gurkha's ass. Yeah, why can't you be like that watch regiment? That's what you should be doing. I've got one more moat shoots and let's try it again just because random numbers. I was saying, I feel like that was more random because I think I got stunned, didn't I? I don't think so. We'll have a video of it in a little bit, so. I know at the end I got stunned, but at that point I was dead anyway, so. Yeah. Everything over there is repaired. We'll do the Machutes and, and Gurkhas first, and then I'll Uragon all that again. Ooh, got some fresh warriors. Yeah, I wanted to include them. So it'd be an equal test, I guess. <sighs> yeah. Alright, I'm attack moving into the forest. Someone kicking your ass. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of randomness to it. Well, oh, you just took me down like too hard. <laughs> Pretty close. Yeah, my RPG impacted. Oh, you're done. You're panicked. You just went. Alright, just went panicked. You're panicked now. It's a close fight. Oh, okay. For socialism. Haha. Uh. -ha. Let me decap one of my zones. I was gonna say. So that was pretty. I mean two tests, one I won handily and one was basically up in the air I thought. Alright, I'm gonna double Uragon your stuff, let's see what happens. Keeping in mind that you're never gonna see a perfect circle of Centurions <laughs> and Chieftains and everything all nicely lined up for you to Uragon. 
I will say they aim and fire pretty fast, though. That's nice. Yeah, that's what I like about the Soviet ones. You're gonna kill the challenger? I'm no. just kidding. Yeah, he's on one bar, I hope. So what did I kill? A two warriors and a warriors. challenger marksman? Challenger marksman. The ferret. Recon. You didn't kill the centurion. It, it just depends on where you are inside the circle. Like, for instance, you didn't damage my challenger one mark two, or, yeah, my challenger one mark two. And he's probably 20 feet away, 30 feet away from my Challenger 2. I mean, I put the circle right over your Challenger 2. Yeah, it's very, I guess, unreliable. I don't know what. Do you think that's worth 240 points and 600, 650 supply per salvo? And not having the Mista? Hmm. I wouldn't take it, I don't think. I, I mean, it's. I'm sure it's useful in, in a deck with you know, without limits, but it's just better stuff to take. And I, I'd rather that they were HE because most of what I did was stun and damage, which the HE or a gun could do too. So I, I, I'd much rather just drop the you cluster. All you did was panic. Nothing was stunned. The HE. Well, that's true. It's all about uh. What's the suppression on that? It's like 466 in it. 442 on these. Yeah, you're you're right. Your Uragons, when you use them on me, they'd stun anything they landed near this. I'm sorry, this thing's just crap. I declare it sweaty balls. <laughs> well, that's why I was telling Farazon to use the uh, the Mister because it stuns. Yeah, I. That's what you look for in the MLRS system is a stun, like you wanna shock shock the defending troops so you can move in, you know. The extra five seconds where you can shoot and he's just sitting there, you know, panicked. That's what makes the MLRS. Yeah, I agree. I I, I just don't think the cluster munitions are worth it, the like HE would be much. My, my two seventy and you get a similar force composition to what I have. I have four people but just look how much better the... What's your max range? Uh, my minimum range is 8,000. Er, yeah, minimum range, I meant. So, I'm gonna drive them to like the edge of my spawn. I'm you just get like a force by Echo, by your SPW-40 P2. I was gonna move them to between Gregory and Center, just so there's takes less time to get there. Oh, that's fine. So, because I have to spawn everything in. I'll even put a Uragon <laughs> in there to simulate counter battery. Watching your tanks. <laughs> yeah. Little parade shooting your lynxes. Or trying to, they're missing a lot. What tanks are those? T seventy two S's, T seventy two M's and T seventy two M ones. Which are the T seventy two S is four top armor, the M ones and M's are two top armor. That's because I'm silly. Alright. Tell me when your force is there. You can see him, can't you, with your gazelle? Oh, yeah, I can see him, but is that all? That yeah, yeah, that, that's all. You can start firing, probably. 
Is this spread out? Good. First missile's away. Second. Is this one of the MLRS? Yep, it's one, 270 HE. 11 HE, 450 suppression. So that's similar stats to the Soviet Uragun? Soviet Uragun's better because it shoots more missiles. Stun. <laughs> oh jeez, look at that. Stun. Everything from there to the road got stunned. Dead. Killed the Tunguska. Stunned again. Stunned. Stunned again. Dead. Killed okay. That's it. That's 12 missiles where the Soviet Uragun has 16. Get get two of them. I want to see what happens because I fired two at you. All right, hold on. Want us to play some organ, sir? <laughs> I don't know. I think even just one is more effective. You could have three of those. Those cluster you're gone and be more effective than, or it wouldn't be more effective than one two seventy or any he. High HE MRS, in my opinion. Well, that stun's so good. I mean, ugh. I mean, even just like if you're watching this video, I have my mouse on on a crater, and it stunned everything between that crater and the road. That that's like half my force, and that's That's like everything within 350 meters of the of where the shell landed. And it did comparable damage to your tanks as the cluster did. Yes, as one one to one, it did pretty much as much damage as the cluster, my cluster Uragon did. And you say you fired 12 missiles? Because mm -hmm. mine has 16. Here in the meantime. Attack move while you're in the tree there into my Gurkhas. I'm gonna get ass raped, but okay. Oh, you're cheating. How am I cheating? Using SPWs. I thought SPWs weren't worth taking. They aren't. Well, I have four almost dead infantry squads and one full squad, so... Oh, the humanity! Oh, I'm cheating. Alright, my stuff's ready. If you wanna make sure your first one's reloaded though. Otherwise this video's gonna be an hour. Oh. Is this one ready? Nope. Is he almost ready? No, he's about three fourths of the way there. Spawn a Eurofighter, let's duel over the middle. Jones. I mean, mine's name is Jute. Can I choose like a zigzag? Prepare to die, Eurofighter. <laughs> what was he like? Ow. I did take a single shot. I wasn't yeah. even like morale damage. <laughs> There's nothing more random <laughs> than plane combat. I wish we could get footage of the weird ATGM bug I've been having too. The planes. What, where your SU-24M or SU-27M tries to defect to the west and mm -hmm. flies over their lines? Alright, is your other guy ready now? Yeah. Alright. My fire when ready. Uh, 
Alright, they're aiming. 24 11 HE missiles. Yes, I do like ballet music. How long does it take them to aim? Just 10 seconds or so? Yeah. Comparable to the Eurogun. It's another thing, if you're gonna counter battery me and you stun me, like that's gonna do a lot more than the cluster MLS. Moat shoots in dead in one. And it also takes the same supply to resupply the 270s as it does that Eurogun. Because I tested that before myself. So you killed a few Machutsen and uh, Recon Vehicle, let's see. Took a fair bit of health off most of your tanks as well. Well, the ones in the back, I think maybe a circle wasn't quite on my forces, but you did hurt some of them. T-72S's with their four top armor were kind of okay, but the M's took a little more damage. I don't know, I think the huge stun effect and the ability to clear infantry out of towns and forests is so much, I don't know. I would, and I'd definitely take 32 rockets from an HE Aragon over those stupid cluster ones. Any closing thoughts, Mr. Potato? Um, no. Don't take cluster Euroguns. Well, that about sums it up. Yeah.